Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Jonas Yandan with Evening News. The headlines. Home Ministry says new guidelines to fight COVID-19 to come into effect from May 4. Relaxations to many districts. States care up to facilitate movement of stranded people after Home Ministry's relaxation measures. Nagaland Pradesh Congress Committee demands immediate rollback of COVID-19 cases. And Deputy Commissioner Dimapu warns people indulging in price rise. Home Ministry has said that new guidelines to fight COVID-19 will come into effect from 4th of May, which will give considerable relaxations to many districts. Home Ministry spokesperson said that details regarding this shall be communicated in the days to come. The Ministry on Wednesday held a comprehensive review meeting on the lockdown situation. There has been tremendous gains and improvement in the situation due to the lockdown till now. Home Ministry spokesperson said to ensure that these gains are not squandered away, the lockdown guidelines should be strictly observed till 3rd May. After Home Ministry's inclusion of new set of relaxation measures in the national lockdown guidelines, the states are gearing up to facilitate movement of stranded migrants, students, pilgrims and tourists, among others. Bihar, Jharkhand and few other states have already designated nodal officers to prepare a register of such stranded people and are devising the standard operating procedure to be followed during their transit. People have welcomed Senders' announcement of allowing movement of stranded people starting from 4th of May. The decision will address concerns of migrant workers, students, pilgrims, tourists and other people who wanted to travel back to their home. Nagaland Pradesh Congress Committee, NPCC, has demanded immediate rollback of state government's decision on imposition of COVID-19 cess on diesel and petrol in the state. In a press release, NPCC President K. Terrier said the imposition is not acceptable in the present circumstances as it will result in price rise across commodities. He said besides receiving central funds, the state government passed a 21,000 49 crore rupee budget, which is available with the government. Terrier said imposing of extra tax is a mockery to the people who have lost business, jobs and affected farming activities due to the present situation. NPCC President said instead of raising cess, the government should concentrate on restructuring the state's economy to stimulate economic growth and check price rise. It may be mentioned that the state government on Tuesday had levied COVID-19 cess on diesel and petrol at the rate of 5 and 6 rupees, respectively. Deputy Chief Minister Y. Patton today visited Primary Health Centre at Neuro under Walker District, which has been converted into five baited isolation centre as preparedness for COVID-19. Patton, who is also in charge of COVID-19 Walker District, interacted with health workers and public leaders of Neuro Range and assured any logistic support for fighting against COVID-19. He assured the public of construction of parking facilities and black topping of approach road connecting PHC Neuro. Later in the day, Button also officially handed over one forking machine to Chief Medical Officer Walker and donated 200 litres of hypochlorite to the district. A total of 1,718 new cases have been reported in the last 24 hours, taking the total number of COVID-19 cases to 33,050. Briefing media in New Delhi today, a health ministry official said recovery rate has improved from 13.06% to above 25% in 14 days, which is a positive sign. The doubling rate of novel coronavirus is now 11 days compared to 3.4 days before lockdown. 67 deaths and 630 recoveries have occurred in the past 24 hours. The fatal D-rate is 3.2% and comorbidities were found in COVID-19 patients in 78% of deaths. A total of 8,324 patients, which is 25.19% of the total cases, have recovered so far. 23,651 people are under active medical supervision. In Nagaland, the total number of samples sent for testing is 653, out of which 640 samples have been reported negative, 
while the result for 13 samples are awaited. Meanwhile, the number of samples sent after 3 p.m. yesterday till 3 p.m. today is 9. Minister for Health and Family Welfare S. Pang Yopong visited Longling District and inspected COVID-19 hospital quarantine site at Pom Limbong School. Acknowledging the lack of facilities in all the hospitals across the state to combat COVID-19, Pang Yu pointed out that COVID-19 pandemic is a wake-up call for the department and healthcare workers to be well prepared and equipped with advanced healthcare facilities to combat with such pandemic in the future and asserted that working on COVID-19 is like battling with invisible enemy. He therefore further appealed to the people to be more cautious and take precautionary measures after the lockdown is lifted. Bang Yu also informed that the central government has approved the upgradation of the present district hospital Longling with CHC status to full-fledged district hospital. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Kohima. Deputy Commissioner Dimabu Anup Kinchi has cautioned that strict action will be initiated against those indulging in price rise of various commodities. The DC informed this during a meeting with the District Level Price Monitoring Committee today. The DC further directed the Dimabu Municipal Council and administrative officers to look into the matter and book those persons involved in price rise. School Education Department will begin its video lessons on important subjects of classes 8, 9, 10 and 12 through Du Darshan Kentra Kohima from tomorrow. Video lesson telecast for class 9 English and Maths subjects will begin from 3 p.m. to 4.10 p.m. For class 10, the video lessons will be telecast from 4.11 p.m. to 6 p.m on the subjects Maths, Social Science and English. To connect DDK Kohima, the parameters are GSAT-17 satellite, downlink frequency is 3740 MHz with horizontal polarization, while the symbol rate is 4.25 mega symbols per second. Meanwhile, All India Radio Kohima will broadcast the lessons from 2nd May. It will be broadcast at Primary Channel and FM Dragoban from 10.10 10 a.m. to 11.55 a.m. and 6 p.m. to 7.10 p.m. A real-life simulation of the prepared action plan on dealing with positive COVID-19 case was carried out in Kohima by District Administration on COVID-19 in collaboration with DDMA and the Medical Department today. The mock drill was held to check and test the preparedness of the different government agencies that has been set in place to tackle every aspect related to a COVID-19 outbreak in the district. The simulation involved a number of important standard operating procedures, activities such as patient management and treatment, contact tracing and quarantine of known contacts, containment and sealing off of COVID-19 positive areas and dead body management of diseased COVID-19 positive patients. Advisor for Water Resources Namri Inchang today interacted with medical staff, town council and members of different organizations at Atibung under Baden district. He appreciated the district administration, medical teams and frontline workers for their proactive roles and sacrifices amidst COVID-19 outbreak. He called upon all the members of civil society and NGOs to continue to give their support. The advisor encouraged the public to strictly adhere with the quarantine protocols and maintain social distancing. The Ao Sentin has called upon all the Ao community to refrain from celebrating its premier festival, Muadza. In a press release, the Ao Sentin said the celebrations would involve large number of people gathering for the program, which will go against the norms of social distancing due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. The Sendan therefore urged the Ao community to observe the festival with prayers in their respective homes and invoke God's blessings from the Almighty. Veteran actor Rishi Kapoor passed away in Mumbai today. He was 67. He had been admitted to a city hospital on witness day. After the sad demise of the actor, his family has appealed his fans 
and well-wishers and friends of the family to respect the laws that are in force. A statement issued by the family says that in this hour of personal loss, they also recognize the world is going through a very difficult and troubled time. Rishi Kapoor was the most romantic face of Bollywood. He made his first screen appearance as a child artist in his father Raj Kapoor's film Sri Jarsobis. He received the National Film Award as a child artist for Meranam Joga. President Ramnad Govind, Vice President M. Mengai Naidu and Prime Minister Narendra Modi expressed deep condolences to the family members and friends of the actor Rishi Kapoor on his untimely demise. And now to end the news, here are the main points again. Home Ministry says new guidelines to fight COVID-19 to come into effect from May 4. Relaxations to many districts. States gear up to facilitate movement of stranded people after Home Ministry's relaxation measures. Nagaland Pradesh Congress Committee demands immediate rollback of COVID-19 cess. And Deputy Commissioner Dimapu warns people indulging in price rise. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.